What is the meaning of this untimely disturbance, Captain? We're being shadowed, Your Grace. Pirates? Aye, but not of these waters. We sure as hell can't outgun her, but we may be able to run her out in that black squall. Make it so. God be with you, Captain. Aye. All right, men, batten down the hatches. Prepare to go riding into the storm. Make way for the wind's eye, lads. What is that devil's scribble written upon her colors? It's Arabic. It says, there's no god but Zai Fang. Sea demons. Say it's gone. <laughs> it's truly a miracle. God has shown us his divine mercy. Glory be thy name. Hold your praise, your grace. I believe our story is about to have a sea change. Afraid they'll be paying us a little visit. Go down below and hide in my cabin. I'll fend them off for as long as I can. Come, come with me, Your Grace. We must keep you safe. May God save us all. Hide in here, Your Excellency. Don't let me die. Your salvation depends upon it. the bloody fangs of the abyss. I know not what you speak of. Forgive me, Empress Safing. Where is it? Within me, Master. Sure, you burn in hell for killing a man of the cloth. There is only one God. He stands before you. Captain! And these men, Empress? As you wish, my mission. Sea date, September 20th, this year of our Lord, 1,763. Hold on a moment, Oxford. I look damn dashing, don't I? You look like a man who has just crossed swords with the brutish devil himself and pierced his icy heart with the burning blades of your godly virtue. I love your phrasing, Oxford. Uh, your heroics inspire my words, my captain. Let us continue. Having successfully delivered 
Isabella and Manuel to their new island home, the island did not have the proper resources to mend our broken rudder completely. Thus, we set sail partially crippled to the new port. This obstacle has not disenchanted the crew. My swift and decisive victory over the infamous Victor Stagnetti has ensured that the crew's heart has been lifted tenfold, and they promise to sail with me onward to the blue heavenly sky or to the bottom of the sea in Davy Jones' locker. The performance of the crew has been exemplary. Especially Woos. What? Especially Woos. Woos? Why, yes, if not for Woo, we'd all be dead. <laughs> but it was my clever orders, and thus we won. With all respect, sir, I do recall your words precisely, and they were, fire those cannons, woo, or we're all dead. You can understand, sir. But if I had not given the orders at precisely the right moment, um, okay. Uh, where? Uh, let's continue. And where were we? Hi, sir. Uh, the crew's exemplary. The crew, the crew, it's uh, been fervently practicing swordplay with Jules daily, and sometimes thrice a day. I'm amazed by their razor sharp concentration and Jules' patience. <coughs> we have encountered a strange but wonderfully heartwarming surprise. Wu sister, Ai Chao, has ventured from the Far East by a happy looking bunch of sailors. I have never seen so many calm and satisfied men upon one ship. She must have worked hard and vigorously to pay her passage. The purpose of Ai's visit is that she has come to bring Wu his father's book of ancient Chinese gunpowder magic. She's affectionate and loving to all she encounters. She is a true Buddhist. I believe having her nurturing spirit aboard will bring a soft comfort and compassion that the crew has long been longing for. She must be a skilled masseuse because I have never heard such sounds of tension release. There's been a downside to Ai's presence. Wu has been very irritable, especially when Ai is giving Buddhist blessings to the crew as they work. Moments before we last set sail, we received word from Olivia, Serena's cousin, the Governor Littleton of Jamaica, has issued a warrant for Serena's immediate arrest. Serena has ordered her cousin to stay aboard to protect us from any hostile forces that may be searching for her. A kind gesture, but highly unnecessary. Kick! Knock him out, okay? Kick! Thus, when we arrive in Kingston, I will see to the governor personally to ask for Serena's immediate pardon. As for myself, I have never felt more keen and vigilant and ready to kick some pirate ass with these twin hell-fired cannons. Indeed, sir. Why, you are a mighty frigate of destruction. What? A mighty fr warship of destruction. Yes, a mighty warship of destruction. Oh God, oh God, please don't kill me. I didn't know I was nowhere near Tortuga. You haven't learned to keep your guard up, have you? Olivia. <sighs> Thought I was merely playing a game. I am Captain Edward Reynolds, master and commander of Vigilance. Serena was right to ask for my protection. Noble gesture, but highly unnecessary. Once Governor Littleton learns of Serena's help in defeating Victor Stagnetti, I'll have no choice but to issue her Pardon. Don't be foolish, Captain. The governor will never pardon Serena. The king demands that all pirates be washed clean from the seas. My father has close ties with his majesty, and if I ask, the king's justice shall prevail. King George wants for the complete extermination of all pirates from fettered trade. This is about commerce, not justice. His majesty watches over his loyal subjects. Serena shall receive a full pardon. 
I will do whatever it takes to save Serena and protect this ship. But if you get in my way, I will take the helm. Devil Dick Willie. That's what me mateys call me. Yes, yes Devil Dick, Dick Willie. Ah, oh, don't you be afraid of me. I'd just be after your father's gold. Now, where is it? You don't know, Devil Dick Willie. Ye better be telling me something, or I'll be a cutting your open to see if there be gold inside of you. We don't have it. It is with him. Where be he? In England. I came here to get some gold, and gold I'll be a-getting. What about this treasure, Devil Dick Willie? Hmm. Now that be fine. Ain't nothing better than the governor's private treasures. <laughs> governor. Damn you, bloody twit. Didn't I tell you never to disturb me while I'm playing? Forgive me, Governor. A Captain Edward Reynolds and his first mate Jules are here to see you. He says he has important business to discuss. T to tell him I'm writing a letter to King George. Take him and his first mate down to the dining hall. I'll be there momentarily. Yes, Governor. <laughs> now then, <laughs> where be me treasures? <laughs> We've been here for over an hour. Keep your voice down. This is a blatant insult of a hero of my stature. My father and I have dined with King George himself. The governor is going to hear my condemnation of his vehement behavior as soon as he arrives, when he ever shows up, if he ever arrives. Do you wish the governor to pardon Serena? Yes. Then silence. Restrain yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, the governor of Jamaica, Baron William Henry Littleton. It's about time. Shh. Welcome. Honored pirate hunters. Who is this lovely creature I see before me? This is my first mate, Commander Jules Steele. And I must say, Governor, it is an honor to be in your presence. You must be one of the most beautiful pirate hunters in all the Caribbean. Indeed, quite possibly one of the most beautiful women in the entire British Empire. I can assure you, Governor, she is also quite deadly. Indeed, her beauty does appear to be quite lethal. Allow me to introduce Myself. My name is Captain Edward Reynolds at your service. I'm quite aware of your name and rank. Then perhaps when you're done eating her hand. You are quite an exceptionally dashing young man yourself, aren't you? Uh, well, thank you, Governor. The women must be clawing at your hull to get aboard your massive vessel. Well, there's no secret of my allure to women and these mighty guns of steel. Mm-hmm. You are most strong. The men aboard your ship must be in awe and jealousy at your virility and classical beauty. Well, thank you, Governor. I must say you're quite dapper yourself, and you must tell me who's your tailor. Governor, may we speak to you about an urgent matter? Why, yes, of course. Please do sit down. Ah, splendid. I see you have both dined. I hope that you do not mind watching me eat. I have a voracious appetite for food and other mouth-watering desires. How disrespectful of me. I forgot to thank you on behalf of His Majesty for vanquishing Captain Victor Stagnetti. Tell me, just how did you defeat the bastard? It's all about timing. Hmm. You see, the Sea Stallion's guns were malfunctioning. At the precise time the Devil's Rose came along broadside, I was able to fire all the guns. So, you fired the guns yourself during the battle? No, I was at the helm. Ah, so it was your master gunner who saved the day. Please, proceed with what you were saying before. You've issued an arrest warrant for Serena, Captain Stagnetti's first mate. Hmm, marvelous. Can you bring her before me? 
I... His Majesty is longing to see the infamous Serena hang at the execution docks. We don't have her. What? That's rather odd. I had information she was aboard your ship. Where is she? It's very complicated. You see, she I... She fled when she discovered we were sailing to Kingston. <sighs> hmm. His Majesty will be most displeased. Normally, I would be forced to hang you both. For harboring a pirate, and worse, allowing her escape? Serena helped kill Victor Signetti. What? Bloody impossible. No, it's true. She abandoned his ship and, and helped us. That's why we're here begging for her pardon. It was with her aid that we were able to defeat the Devil's Rose. Well, I would like to, but my hands are tied by the King. He wants her dead, like Blackbeard and so many others before him. There must be some way His Majesty can forgive Serena. Well, it is possible. Perhaps you could perform a service for His Majesty. What is it? Well, there was a missionary ship with the Archbishop of Canterbury on board and some vital treasure. And it was attacked by some Barbary pirates under the command of a Chinese pirate empress named Zi Feng. His Majesty wants the pirates executed and the treasure, a small blue pearl, returned. We would be honored to do His Majesty's bidding. Well, what is the value of this blue pearl? Mm. No actual value, just sentimental value to the king. Now look here. It is an illustration of Zi Feng's colors. The text is Arabic calligraphy. It says, there is no god, only Zi Feng. So, you have quite a dangerous little adventure ahead of you, and the night draws on. Why do you not stay here with me the night and rest your bodies? Hell bells and buckets of blood. Thank you, Governor. I uh, would be most honored, but unfortunately, we need to be underway immediately, if not sooner. Thank you very much for your hospitality. Do come again. If we kill these pirates and return the treasure, Governor Littleton will have no choice but to give a full pardon to Serena. Whoa. Yes, Captain. Well, what can you tell me about this Chinese pirate empress? Oh, yes, Captain. She raided Fire Dragon Queen of the Sea. She is immortal and impossible to kill. Her weakness is Chow Mein. Her weakness is Chow Mein? Yes, Captain. Jules, we're gonna need a shitload of Chow Mein. Edward, he's joking. Yeah, just because I'm Chinese doesn't mean I know every Chinese pride with Captain. <laughs> All right. Now, here's the plan. Jules and I just investigated around town, and we discovered that a ship is leaving tomorrow for one of the last pirate havens on Earth, a small island called Shibalba. Edward and I are gonna try to buy passage aboard the vessel tonight. Hopefully we'll find this pirate empress. How oh, exciting. When do we set sail, Captain? Well, if all goes well, Jules and I will leave in the morning. You, Oxford, Wu, I, and Olivia will stay here and supervise the repairs in the Sea Stallion. You're gonna need me. I think it's best you stay behind. Captain, with all due respect, don't you think that my talents, modest as they may be, could be best utilized in a covert offensive such as Shibalhaba? Oxford. Oxford! You're third in command! What I need from you is for you to stay behind in the Sea Stallion with Wu and supervise the repairs. Captain? Captain. 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 Really? Really? Me? You? <gasps> Captain Oxford. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes. I'm going to need your help if we're going to save Serena. What are you talking about? What do you want me to do? Your captain's foolishness is going to kill us all. We must organize a mutiny. Mutiny? Never. Not only is he a fine captain, but he's my best friend. Don't let your feelings of friendship get between the well-being of this crew. I will lead us to safety. He led us to victory against Stignetti, and he'll lead us to victory once again. How did you ever become second in command being so weak? Keep insulting me, you'll find out just how weak I am. I 
fight warriors, not whores. Are you not his whore? Ship. Any luck? Captain Sade with the Red Lakes agreed to give us passage to Shababa Island. How much? 600 pieces of eight. <clears throat> 600 pieces of eight? Might as well just take my right arm. That's ridiculous. That's the only ship selling to Shababa Island. Did you even try and negotiate with this guy? His terms are non-negotiable. Captain! Just a minute. Captain. What? Have you secured passage yet? I suppose so, but this isn't piracy, Jules. This is pirate rape. What did you expect? Oh, excellent. Yeah, we'll be needing some silver as well, sir. To, to get some men to repair the rudder. How much? No idea. I've yet to secure a single estimate for the repairs. Estimates and be sure to take the cheapest one. I see. Be frugal, Oxford. This adventure is costing you a fortune. I, Captain. This isn't so bad. No, it could be a lot worse. Yes, actually, I'm getting quite comfortable. Me too. So, the governor was not only a rotomatic, but an arrogant fool as well. How oh, dare he have the audacity to question my command? What would he know of the heat of battle? He wasn't there. If he wasn't for the fact that he was governor, I would have crossed blades with him right then. Calm down. There's no need to get yourself worked up. I should have left as soon as he issued his first insult. I should have... I... I'm a fraud. Oh my God, I'm a fraud. Everybody knows it. Olivia, Oxford. Oh, Lord, help me. What's wrong? Oh, God, I'm dying. Oh, this is it. Oh, Lord, I'm coming. My light's flashing before my eyes. I fucked my retarded cousin. Oh, Lord, help me. I'm coming. Edward, you're not dying. Okay, breathe. You're just having one of your panic attacks. And just breathe. What are you doing? I'm breathing. Breathe with me now. There, there. Good. Come on. Feeling better? Yeah. No. Edward, what's wrong? Oh, God, the governor was right. I don't know what I'm doing in battle. Who saved us? Not I. I'm a coward. Nonsense. You were absolutely courageous. I'm an idiot. What are you talking about? You fought off all those deadly warrior skeletons. But one. I was tangled up with him the whole time. You're not an idiot. You're the great captain who led us to victory. We had two alternatives out there, to die or survive. He survived because of you, Edward. Oxford, Wu, Serena, all believed in your strength. Just look at it. It's there. Don't ever second guess your strength. Jules? Yes? Thank you for being an extraordinary friend. No need to thank me. Are Jules? Yes. I gotta pee. Okay, go before you pee on me. Did you say you had sex with your retarded cousin? the boarding hooks and battle axes. No bloody pirates will ever board this vessel without first tasting the sword of Captain Oxford Buckingham. I, I, I'm sorry, I. Ooh, what the devil are you doing here, man? I think I have thrown away. What do you think that? She got out of her iron and escaped. 
We need to fire her. Ooh, it's late. We need some rest, then we'll get some men, and we'll fix this rudder. Fine, I will go alone. All right, I'm coming. Perhaps we should bring Olivia. She gone too. the Devil's Circus. What's next? Next. Next, we split up. We'll be able to cover more ground that way. In an hour, I'll meet you at that temple right there. Aye. Commander, be vigilant. You as well. delight to satisfy your all very perverted ah. desire. Let's start the bidding at 20 pieces of eight. Come on, matey bros. This is a fine and sturdy woman. She'll be able to handle a good popping and then so. 20 pieces of eight. This one looks like a bargain to me, matey. Yeah, if you like a woman with lots and lots of curves. You mean if I was a whale hunter, I'd be in heaven, eh? Hey, matey. Okay, matey bros. I'm gonna give you once in a lifetime deal. Fifteen pieces of eight. I order for fifteen pieces of eight for her. Now, okay, fifteen. Do I hear sixteen? Aye, sixteen. Yeah, now you're bidding, matey bro. Do I hear seventeen? Seventeen? Sixteen going once. Sixteen going twice. Sold to the wee <laughs> pirate. Congratulations, little bro. <laughs> Next, we have this exquisite jewel up for sale. Here she is, kidnapped all the way from Paris, France. I bring you young Anne, matey bros. This lassie sounds like the creme de la creme, eh, matey? She's exquisite. Could I trouble you to describe her beauty to me, me, me being a poor old blind man? Oh. Oh! Oh, uh, no problem. She has long golden locks with shock black hair. Oh, me likes a black widow. <laughs> uh, how's her skin? Me don't be wanting any blemishes. And I won't be tolerating an oily fish face either. Well, you're a tough customer. Me likes what me likes. Go on! Well, her skin is white, smooth, and creamy. Mm. There's not a blemish on it. Mm -hmm. Wait. There's a male. How about her breasts? Are they flapjacks, raisins, or a flapjack with a big raisin on top? <laughs> I'm afraid you've, you've lost me on that one. Matey bros, we're gonna start the bidding at 50 pieces of eight. But sir, could I trouble you to bid for me? Uh, yes. Great, no problem. Yeah, so by the way, have you heard of a Chinese pirate empress by the name of Tsai Ping? You'd be looking for trouble, eh? Always. Well, I've heard of her, but but Batak will be acquainted with her. Very says I! Ah, 50, do I hear 60? 60! Oh, well done. Do I hear 70? Go, oh. 70, 70! 70. Uh, 70! Who's that for? 80. Do I hear 90? You must be new around these waters. 90, go 90! I'm oh, just bad with names, that's all. Uh, 90! 100! 120! Oh. 130, 130, and that be tech for a slave girl you'd be bidding on. Oh, that's tech war. I thought you meant a different tech war. Uh, 130. <laughs> 200. Motherfucker. 300. 400. No, no, I haven't got that kind of silver. Don't worry, I've got it covered. 500. Oh, 500. Uh, 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 
six. Now you're bidding like kings. Do I hear seven hundred? Seven hundred. Seven hundred and thirty-three. Oh, this is ridiculous. One thousand. Pretty boy, one Are you crazy, matey? One thousand pieces of eight. Wait here, one thousand ten. One thousand ten. One thousand going once. One thousand going twice. Sold to my handsome friend. It scum, you pirate scurvy scavy scoundrel. <laughs> Congratulations, my friend. You get the best that silver can buy. By the way, I don't see any large sack of silver for me. Oh. Well, I've got a large sack for you. Easy, bro. But it's not silver. More than enough to cover the bin. How do you know that my favorite color was gold? Uh, just a hunch, I guess. I'm Tagbor. You may have heard of me. Not really, bro. Armenian gold Tagbor? <laughs> Sorry, doesn't ring a bell. No matter. What is your name? My name? Oh, my name. Oh, my name's Jackson. Stone. Cold Jackson. I may have heard of you. Were you the one who found Captain Morgan lost gold? That was I. It was I that found Captain Morgan's lost golds. Come, let me give you your pretty sex slave. It'd be my pleasure to have you as my guest of honor. Come into my solid gold tent palace. There will be girls. Meat. And rum, matey, bro. It would be my pleasure, sir. So you've already met the main Sifu of Yan Luang. I am known as Sai Feng, and you are? The Pirate Empress. That's not what I asked. You can call me the King's Law. There is no law here. Drop it! You see, Pirate Hunter, there's only piracy in Chibalba. Cole Jackson, welcome to my gold tent pass. Be careful! <laughs> what a unique concept. Here, why don't we have a city for Tell me, Stone Cold Jackson, bro. How do you like my tent palace? It's very, uh, it's very gold. It suits my persona, yes. Absolutely, bro. I'm not sure. I need a name. Sounds of pure evil. How's that? Uh, nobody has ever heard of Armenian gold Tagvor. I try switching things around like Tagvor, the gold Armenian. Nothing sticks! I need a name that strikes fear into guts of men! Like Blackbeard, Blackbart, or Victor Stagnity. What do you think about Goldbeard or Goldbart? Goldbeard. Sounds like a rabbi pirate. Look, are you really stuck on this gold thing? Yeah, what's wrong with gold, bro? Oh, absolutely nothing, bro. But if you're gonna terrorize the sea, I mean, really terrorize the sea, you need a name that strikes fear in the hearts of people. A name like, say, for example, I don't know, uh, Chinese pirate Empress Zifeng. How do you know about Zifeng? Well, everybody knows about Zifeng. You know, Matey Brook, Zifeng is on this very island as we speak. You don't say. I could introduce you to her. Between you and me, 
I'm more evil. I'm evil gold, bro. Evil gold. I like that. Evil gold. Evil gold. You have to remember, Dagvar, that it's not the name that brings a man infamy. It's his infamous deeds that bring infamy to his name. Yes! Action! I like you, Stolkonpru. You much wisdom. Now let's have some woman. Woman. Ah. This way, Wu. This bad idea. It doesn't look like Happy Alley. Oh, don't be silly. It's perfectly happy. Okay. You know, Wu, I've been thinking. Perhaps you could give I a wider berth. Let her do as she pleases a little bit. Then she might not feel so inclined to go running off like this. You don't know nothing. She's my little happy sister. I protect her, keep even from herself. She might not be as little as you think she is. Besides, we need to be concentrating on repairing the sea stallion and not out wandering these wretched alleyways. Don't blame on me. This is what's your idea. It's yourself. Hi, Mikey. Keep thinking you'd be lost, eh? Yeah. I do wish you should tell me the truth. Now, what is your name and why are you here? Why are you be sitting alone in the dark, matey? Because darkness has enveloped my soul and extinguished the everlasting light of love. You're still carrying that burned out torch for that dead whore. What you need is to blast your pistol on a young maid, matey. You're right, Bernard. You're absolutely right. But let me ask you just a question. Do you see any women here in the bar? OK, no. There's no women here. You know why? Because they all went to Tartuga, which is where I told you we needed to go in the first place, OK? Tartuga. Everybody's in Tartuga. Never you mind, Tartuga. I've got you a young, exotic devil harlot you never find in Tortuga. She make all your happy come out. <laughs> Where? Where is she? Bring her in, matey. <laughs> Do you all want more massage, Big B? Hi, you <laughs> little devil. First, give me Captain Marco here. A touch of those devil hands. <laughs> you know who I am? Bernard said you Marco. And did Bernard say that I was a murderer? You don't look like a murderer. I kill men for gold. That's okay. A lot of people do that. I just want to make you happy come out. I kill women too. I could burn one alive. Why you do that? <laughs> she, she broke my heart. Oh, you poor little panda bird. I am a poor little panda bird. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I want to be a good wife to you, but I have to take care of my brother. Why? What? You know what, marry me? Oh, okay, wait. <laughs> we hardly know each other, okay? I mean, it was really fun and all, but, you know, gosh. You my best rubber. You have to marry me. Like hell I do. Ow! Ow, that hurts! Marry me! Ow! Oh, my God, mother of Paul! No! Marry me! Ow! Don't I have time to think about this at all? Ow! Will you marry me? Come. Your pretty slave is waiting for you. Thank you. Enjoy. So you're my new master? Well, let us not be so formal. My name is Edward Reynolds. Mm -hmm. Edward is a beautiful name, master. Thank you. I, mm -hmm. phew. Would you like to take my body now? I uh, think we should, maybe we should get to know each other a little bit first. And perhaps, uh... Yes, let's do that. Mm. Like for, like for example, what's your name? Whatever you wish to call me, Master. 
You know, I think, uh, I think we know each other well enough now. Jules, what are you doing here? I've come for you, Edward. Well, that's nice. Just wait for me outside. I'll be right there. Let me get my dungarees on. I told you that when we get together outside, I want you inside me, Edward. May I watch? <laughs> I want you inside right now. Uh, this is Jules. I'm not sure what's wrong with you, but whatever it is. I'm sure <laughs> it is. Jules! Jules! Uh, Oh, stop it. This is gross. Get up, Jules. Oh, Take Jules to the ship. As you wish, master. What are you doing? Get your hands off me. She's my captain's prize. Ah, who's your captain? You know him, <laughs> Captain Victor Stagnetti. Stagnetti? He's dead. And I killed him. He's very much alive. And Jules is going to lead us to him. Yes, master. Don't do it, Jules. Silence. I open up my tent to you, bro. You fill it up with lies. You're dead to me. Take him to the beach. Ah, ah, Jules! 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 Get your hands off me, you filthy, stinking ape! The Emperor will reward you for your services in gold. Most excellent. Break that thing and run it out of here when we showed up. Right. Right. Edward. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. You. She's with me. Edward, what were you doing in there? You could have been eaten alive. Wasn't exactly by choice. And by the way, I was kicking ass. It's dangerous here. We need to return to my ship. Wait a minute. I need answers. I need answers now. 
right. Blow me down. You brought me another devil in the flesh. What mean ye, matey? This squinty-eyed devil is more squinty-eyed than that she-devil you brought me before. Aye, have you seen it? Where is he? The devil speaks in tongues. I don't know what he says. I'm not a devil. I'm from China, you idiot. China's another name for hell. <laughs> no, 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 no. China's another country. It's in the Far East, near India. Ooh, Shut but... your mouth, devil servant. <laughs> Please, sir. I, I'm no servant of the devil, nor of Wu. Actually, currently, I'm acting captive. Oh, you tongue, I'll be cutting it off, says I. The captain will have no use for these, nor will I. But you said if we brought you a couple of crewmen, it'd settle our debt with the captain. What do you think, crewman? This is the devil and his man-lusting devil servant. However, I'll make a deal with you. You kill them both, and I'll see that your debt is paid. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't go marooning yourself again, mateys. Come on, we need to talk about this harlot you gave me. Hi, hey, are you alive? Woo, what are you doing here? Hey, who's Woo? Woo is devilese for devil. It was like Zyphing controlled her mind or something. She was my beloved Jules. She was. Helms woman, make way for open waters. Aye. What does Zyphing want with Jules? Zyphing. Zyphing seeks stagnity. What? He's dead. I know. Seems absolutely ludicrous. But so are undead skeleton warriors. And I've seen them too. How do you know stagnity? I was forced along with Serena to join his crew or die. So I did. Until I was betrayed and imprisoned. Sorry. Scepter. Scepter. The scepter gives him the protective powers of evil. If we don't get to victor before Zayfang does, no man will. I am no ordinary man. I defeated him before, and I will defeat him again. Are you prepared to go up against Satan's will? I am the captain who changes the wind of destiny. It is my will that will end this conflict now and forever. Do you have any cannons? Stagnetti took my sister away in the middle of the night. And the last I heard, she was sold as a sex slave to some pirate named Armenian Gold. Oh. Oh, I see. You see nothing. I will not rest until my sister is home safe. I've spent the last three years hunting Stagnetti. What makes you think that you have a chance catching him? Because I caught him before, and if I have to, I'll do it again. Is that so? Word around the Caribbean? Is that your master gunner is the one who sunk the Devil's Rose? A vicious lie, contrived by my jealous adversaries. It was my orders that sunk the Devil's Rose. I defeated Stagnetti and nobody else. Just watch, you'll see my glory. We shall see. Proceed. Captain Reynolds, the captain wishes to inform you that we will arrive in Calaveras waters within a few hours. Thank you. You sent the Devil's Rose and Victor Stignetti down to Davy Jones' locker. I'm sorry, sailors. I don't have time for the telling of tales right now. Please, Captain. All the pirates and sailors tell the tale of how you bravely defeated Stagnetti. We just wish to hear it from your handsome lips. Well, perhaps I have time for the shortened version of how I've defeated the Devil's Rose. Oh, wonderful. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Captain. The first time I did battle with the evil Victor Stagnetti was at an ancient Incan cave in the color of Paris Islands. What was in the cave? In the cave? 
Lots of rocks. Were there giant man-eating snakes? Well, no, not exactly. Oh. Well, there was other dangerous things. Like what? There was a giant. Well, what was it? Porcupine. Porcupine? Well, that's not very scary at all. Oh, yeah, with three snarling lion heads. How frightening. Yeah. Oh, you don't know the worst of it. Uh, its feet were giant man-eating crocodiles. It, its hands were large poisonous tarantulas. And it had a massive tail that was a huge king cobra that would lure over the top, ready poised to strike over the top of the three drooling lion heads. What did you do? What did I do? Well, I did the only thing I could do. Sha! 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 And as I stood there poised over the three severed lion heads, I felt the dark shadow of the King Cobra coming over the top of me, poised for its death strike. And as the venom dripped from its fangs into my open mouth, I spat the poison back into the beast's eyes, thus blinding it. As I stared into Stagnetti's eyes, three million skeletons arose from the pits of hell. Satan himself cried from his fiery depths. Were you afraid? Afraid? Fear is a foreign word to me. I know nothing of the word fear. As I rode the shark over the bow of the devil's rose, with cutlasses clashing with one single blow, I severed the head of Victor Stagnetti. And damned Lucifer back to hell. And then the heavens opened up, and God came forth, and he kissed me upon the forehead. And all was well with humanity, and all living things. Amen. Oh, you are so brave. So beautiful. We must reward you for saving the world. I require no reward. The only reward that I need is sunshine in my face and sea air in my nostrils. So modest. Kiss me. Oh, kiss me too. Well, perhaps just a little reward. I have been rather good lately. Calaveras Island. Captain Stagnetti lies within the waters beneath us. It's so small, but so powerful. It was first captured by the Spanish in an ancient Incan temple. The Incans believe that the pearl has the power to honor one's deepest desires. King George ordered the Archbishop to return it to England personally. The Mad King wants to use it to find sunken treasures. It's a shame that it will be lost forever. the strongest man to the bottom of the void, having bring the Dark Emperor to me. Asad, come forth! Asad! 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 Asad!
emperor's dignity. Step aside, Poseidon. It's time for darkness to reign upon the sea. Blackheart has been reborn from the sea. Really? I don't see anything. His presence infects me. My sword shall be my medicine. Do you think Jules is still alive? No matter. This isn't just about killing Victor for my own peace. It's about vengeance for the thousands of innocents who've died by his sword and mine. This must end. Serena left the sea, Stallion, to protect Jules' life. Are you willing to sacrifice her life for his? Too many have been burned, tortured, murdered, and raped because of my apathy. You've walked away from the darkness. Cleanse your hands of evil. My hands are stained. My soul is stained with the blood of good hearts. Would you have the innocent blood of Jules on your hands as well? Siren sings her song of ecstasy once again. Come devour your praise, Emperor. Favor. The odds will change, Captain. You can rest assured of that. That's not the sea stallion. The sea stallion is in port for repairs. Captain Riddles may have chartered another ship. Very good. She swallowed the bait, Emperor. The sea will soon swallow her. I met some good friends while I was down in hell. <laughs> Why is it always gotta be this supernatural shit? Why can't I fight just a good old pirate with a wooden leg and an eye patch and a hook for a hand? Those only exist in fairy tales. That ghost ship's on a head-on collision course with us. <laughs> Nothing good's gonna come of this. Here she comes. Fire the chase gun! Expect that at all. Did you? Do you wish to fire the stun guns, my emperor? No. Let's see what me dead mates can do with them. They're going to be bored and bored with us. All hands on deck, ready for battle. Do you think maybe we'll get lucky and they'll sail right past us? Now, Edward, you know that wouldn't be any fun. Fine. I just want to fight something. It's not dead already. They are dead. So when you're fighting, Try not to get your sword tangled. I'm a captain, I don't get my sword tangled. Here they come! Helms woman, keep sailing towards Zai Ping's ship. I'm gonna be bored and bored with her. Aye, aye, Captain!
For us, Master. She'll be bored and bored soon. Good. Let her. Prepare your men for battle. As you wish. Prepare for battle! You're going to let them board? What do you think? Again, my old friend. May the great are even win. First bones, now a giant aqua squid. What an ass pirate. you I knew where they'd be! Give another shot of Hellfire, Wu! Not until you promise to marry my sister! Your captain is about to get eaten by a giant sea squid! Now's not the time to talk about this, Wu! It's coming right at us! Wu, reload the guns! Wu! Wu, can you hear me? I can hear you! What are you doing up here on the deck? Get down there and load those guns! I need to marry her first! Yeah, agree marry me! Okay, I'll marry her! You promise? Yes! I'll even marry you, Wu! Now go down there and load those weapons! Okay! You better not lie to me! For the love of gold, will you please go down there and load the cannons? You don't have to yell! What kind of crazy family am I marrying into? A family of Pandora! <laughs> devils! You be marrying into devils!
something with a celebration done at David Jones' locker. And you are the guest of honor. Enjoy the festivities. You first. I usually like to arrive fashionably late. Give my regards to David J, you fucking bitch. <laughs> Jules, what are you doing? Obeying my master. Well done, my slave. Now open her up and drink her blood. As you wish, master. It's a horrifying ghost that lingers with you till you become a ghost yourself. I know. I should have slit your throat the night you betrayed me. This is my deepest regret. And I regret that I didn't stay to ensure you suffered a horrifying end. I would have loved to watch the prison rats chew the flesh from your bones as you gazed into my hateful eyes. fall asleep. I want you to watch your friend suffer from my blade while I drink your blood. And that'll be your last bite, Sea Dog. Ah, listen to the rich boy who hasn't even seen a pirate before our last encounter. Speaks like a hardened sea boy. Yeah, and hidden behind that scepter would have killed you the first time. Oh, I doubt that it would. Your tactical maneuvers are embarrassingly novice, Edward. A ten-year-old cabin boy could have commanded that ship far better than you. Maybe, but I still sunk your vessel. You were adrift. However, there will be no saving grace from your master, Gunner. This time! You know, Edward, you are an inadequate swordsman. And... Oh, Edward. Oh, how does it feel, Edward? Good feel, Victor. How does it feel? Knowing you were killed by the greatest pirate hunter that ever lived. How's it feel? Is it over? Jules, Jules, are you alive? Jules, Jules! If you don't stop slapping me, Edward, I'm gonna kick you in the balls. Jules, you're alive. <sighs> Thank you for saving my life. You're welcome. I mean, Olivia. You're welcome. What? Edward, what are you doing here? Why? I just saved your life. Both of your lives. Not that anyone noticed. Really? I don't remember that. I did the most courageous thing in my whole life, and no one even knows. I believe it was very courageous, but can we go home? How could Edward save the day when Wu is not around, hmm? 
Well, let me tell you, I killed Victor Stagnetti. He's dead. I believe you. You don't? You don't believe me? You must have fallen overboard. We did it. We certainly did, Oxford. Me so happy. Okay, what did I tell you about clinging to me while I'm piloting my ship? I your baby panda. I cream. Okay, well, listen. When this battle's over, we're going over proper battle protocol. Do you understand me? I have baby panda rub for you. Off me. I rub you. Get off me. I rub you. You need mint tea. The love of gold! Could you please just give me a minute to myself? I thought... I see that I certainly has you under a lot of strain. How dare you speak ill of her? She is an amazing Chinese woman. She makes me happy. Which is more than I could say about you. Just to clarify a few things, the night you tried to burn us alive, I didn't sleep with anybody but you. Oh, yeah? Why were you with him, huh? He is the captain of this ship. I am his first mate. I should kill you for what you did to us. I didn't do anything, OK? It was Bernard's idea. I don't believe you. Listen, I was going through a very emotionally disturbing time then, OK? I, I, I've, worked, I've worked through my, I've worked through my issues. And I've become a better man because of it. And I realize that I don't need you to love me because I love myself now. Finally. Besides, you're not that unique. You're just an attention whore. What's that supposed to mean? You heard me. You don't have the capacity to love. You're afraid to love. You're worried that you're gonna end up like I did, confused and looking for someone who's afraid of true love, too. Besides, you were a sexual bore. What? You said I was the best lover on this side of the Caribbean. Then I met I. What's so unique about I? She's more passionate, she's exotic, and she knows how to pleasure a man with her hands. Wow. I remember pleasuring you pretty damn well. <sighs> okay, it's different, all right? It's it's an Eastern thing. You, you just you just wouldn't understand, okay? I'm just on a different sexual plane than you, and I've been I've been in I've been enlightened to true pleasure with I. Does she lick? Uh, and vigorously stroke you till you explode out of mouth. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Man, the bear! I, oh. I don't cry. I was just kissing him goodbye. No, no, Jules. She needs to hear the truth. You know, rub me. No, no, I rub you more than anything. But I need you to give me my alone time. Do you understand? You rub me. Yes, I love you. OK, I let you fuck her. I come back right away. Whoa, whoa, what? You're going to let me have sex with her? Yeah, I just wanted to know you love me. You can let anybody make you happy come out, as long as you love me. Marco. Mm hmm This could be fun. I would you like to stay and uh, help our happy come out? Oh, panda bear, you make me so happy. I love you. Oh, I love you, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Feeling better, Commander? Ship shape, Captain. I don't know how to thank you. No need to thank me. We're family. 
I, Captain. You did it. Oh, the stagnity thing. Nothing really. Defeating the most vicious pirate the world has ever known. Again, child's play. All in a day's work. I'm proud of you. You were very brave. Governor Littleton. Who in his right mind would elect Littleton as a governor? Uh, you may enter. Captain, may we have a word with you for a moment? Yay, you may. I was just writing a letter of thank you for Governor Littleton to give to the king. I wanted to apologize for doubting you. You're truly a brave sea warrior. Brave? I merely did what was necessary. That makes me just a man. Beautiful man. I won't argue with you there. I wish to thank you for saving my life. I will always be in your debt, Captain. It was nothing. And when we returned to Kingston, and Governor Littleton bestows upon Serena full pardon, then you can thank me properly. Yes, Kingston. Yes, about Kingston. What about Kingston? I was hoping we could hold off on going to Kingston for a bit. We need to get back to Shibaba Island now. Shibaba? Before. I have reason to believe that my sister is being held prisoner there. made a decision. We sailed directly to Kingston, and then we go back to Shibalba. Edward, I've already told you. Governor Littleton will never pardon Serena. Let's get to Kingston. We can rectify the situation. Why don't you let us rectify the situation, and you get us to Shibalba Island? What if the Royal Navy finds Serena first? Serena's fine. Besides, we always have you to protect her. Look at these mighty guns of glory. Yes, I am a mighty frigate of destruction. We need to go back to Shibaba, Edward. My sister needs you. How could I possibly turn down three beautiful women in need? However, something doesn't feel right. Does this feel right? Perhaps sailing immediately to Shibaba is exactly the proper course of action. I will inform the helmsman right away of the course change. We will immediately begin to set sail for Shibaba. So you don't remember coming on to me and saying you want me in your mouth and your anus. There you go telling stories again. You practically raped me. Right. Why would I lie about that? Maybe you could tell me the secrets of your gunpowder. I don't teach my secrets to the white devil. Touche for stabbing me, Blackheart. Back's killing me. I panned, I cry. Jules. I need to apologize for my arrogance. No need for apologies. You helped save my life. We're even. There might be something else that I owe you. Commander. Aye, Captain. Report to the helm. Your orders, Captain. Keep sailing until we see the fires of hell itself. Until heaven unleashes its light upon the darkness of evil. Heading, Captain. Back to Shebalba Island. We've got a sister to rescue. Steady as she goes, Commander. Steady as she goes. Thank you.